afternoon. This is a very special occasion for a very special couple. We have known Mark for a long time. Jennifer, not so long. But we welcome you to our family. Let us pray. This couple's hearts are filled with great happiness on this their wedding day. They come before you pledging their lives and their hearts to one another. Grant that they may be ever true and loving. Temper their hearts with kindness and understanding and rid them of all pretense or jealousies. Help them to be sweetheart, helpmate, friend, and guide, and together let them know that you are with them always. We ask these sayings in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. Mark and Jennifer. At this appointed time, you now come to solemnize in marriage publicly the covenant you've already made in your own hearts. There are no obligations on earth more important than those you are about to assume. There are no vows more solemn than those you are about to make. There is no human institution more sacred than that of the home you are about to establish. Marriage is a supreme sharing of experience, an adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. It should be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with full understanding of its sacred nature. Do you understand this? We, we do. do. On this very special day, no doubt you are thinking most of your own happiness. As the years pass, the lives of many others will be involved with yours. The joy that you have on this day will shed its beam of light on all whom you shall know or contact. Remember, there will be many challenges to patience and wisdom. Your love can meet them all. You are, after all, forming an act of faith, believing in each other to the utmost. Let that faith grow through the years so that you remain unmoved in your devotion, always confident and sure. Two souls have the power to love each other more and more in depth. The larger the love becomes, the more lovable do the objects of that love become. May you, through the years, bear witness to that fact. When a couple went to a prophet and asked him of marriage, he answered, saying, You were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death shall scatter your days. I, ye shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another but make not a bond of love. Rather, let it be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from the same cup. Give one another your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone, even as the strings of the lute are alone even though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress go not in each other's shadow. Jennifer and Mark Today, your separate lives, with their individual memories, desires, and hopes, merge into one. Will you bring to this new life, each for the sake of the other, the best that you have in you? Will you promise to recognize the other as an individual, striving always to be conscious of the other's development, 
as well as your own. Will you seek through kindness and understanding to achieve together the life you have envisioned? And will you seek to express at all times the best and highest that you know? Say, I will. I will. I will. Who comes to place the hand of this woman in the hand of this man? We do. Please join right hands. In the words of the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, Love is patient, love is kind, and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own, is not provoked does not take into account wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Mark, will you have this woman whose hand you hold to be your wedded wife, to share your life with her, and do you pledge that you will love, honor, and care for her in all the circumstances of your lives? Say, I will. I will. Jennifer, will you have this man whose hand you hold to be your wedded husband, to share your life with him, and do you pledge that you will love, honor, and care for him through all the circumstances of your lives. Say, I will. I will. Mark, looking directly at Jennifer, please repeat after me. I, Mark. I, Mark. Take you, Jennifer. Take you, Jennifer. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. And Jennifer, looking directly at Mark, please repeat after me. I, Jennifer. I, Jennifer. Take you, Mark. Take you, Mark. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Mark, what token do you bring as evidence of your love and devotion? A ring. This ring is a beautiful and fitting symbol of the marriage bond, composed as it is of precious metal. May it represent the value of love between husband and wife. Bless, O Lord, this ring. Bless he who gives it and she who wears it, that they may live always in your love knowing peace, joy, and harmony. Mark, as you place the ring on Jennifer's finger, repeat after me. With the giving. With the giving. And receiving. And receiving. Of this ring. Of this ring. We are one. We are one. With it. And with it. I give to you, Jennifer. I give to you, Jennifer. All the treasures of my mind. All the treasures of my mind. My heart. My heart. And my hands. In my hands. Jennifer, what token do you bring? A ring. This ring is also a beautiful and fitting symbol of the marriage bond. Composed as it is of precious metal, may it represent the value of love between wife and husband. Bless, O Lord, this ring that she who gives it and he who wears it will understand the symbolism of the unbroken circle and live always in your love, knowing peace, joy, and a deep abiding love. Jennifer, as you place the ring on his finger, repeat after me. With the giving. With the giving. And receiving. And receiving. Of this ring we are one. Of this ring we are one. With it. And with it. I give to you, Mark. I give to you, Mark. All the treasures of my mind. All the treasures of my mind. My heart and my hands. My heart and my hands. Ministering in the name of God and all that is holy 
and recognizing the authority of the state vested in me, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. And may these words ever be inscribed on the tablets of your hearts and upon your lips. Grow old along with me, for the best is yet to be. The last of life, for which the first was made. Mark, you may kiss your wife. As a special blessing for you and in memory of my grandfather's people, I speak the words of an ancient American Indian wedding ceremony. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for each other. Now there is no more loneliness. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling to enter into the days of your life together, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. I now have the special honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Jennifer Shanklin. <laughs> <laughs>